morning students students today we will do page number 85 of your mathematics book students you have already learned that when we add repeatedly how can we write it into the multiplication form students now we will discuss some more questions based on this given on page number 85 of your mathematics book so let's start dear students first question is add repeatedly and write it into the multiplication fact in this we are given groups of leaves so let's count how many leaves are there in each group in first group there are 1 2 3 three leaves in second group again 1 2 3 3 leaves in third group 1 2 3 3 leaves and in fourth group also let's count 1 2 3 3 leaves So dear children, let's count how many groups are formed now. One, two, three, four. Four groups are formed. And how many leaves are there in each group? One, two, three. Three leaves. That means how many times three comes here? One, two, three, four. Four times three. Comes here, and how we can write it in the multiplication form? Four multiply three. Dear children, in the next question again we are given groups of colorful balls. So let's count how many balls are there in each group. In the first group, let's count one, two, three. Four, four balls. In second group, one, two, three, four, four balls. And in the third group also, count one, two, three, four, four balls. So dear children, let's count how many groups are now formed. One, two, three. Three groups are formed and how many balls are there in each group? Four, four balls. That means how many times four comes here? One, two, three. Three times four comes here. And how we can write it in the multiplication form? Three multiplying. Four. Students, now we will do some more questions in which numbers are repeatedly added and we have to change it into the multiplication form. So, let's start. In the first question, which number is given here? Three. Yes. Now, let's count how many times three is there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 times 3. And we can write it into the multiplication form as 5 multiply 3. In the next question, 5 is there. So, let's count how many times 5 is there. 1, 2. 2, 3, 4. 4 times 5. And we can write it as in the multiplication form. 4 multiply 5. Similarly, in the third question, we are given the number 6. It is coming here. How many times? 1, 2. 2 times. So, how can we write it into the multiplication form? 2 multiply 6. 
In this question also, let's count. Two is coming. How many times? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six times two is coming here. So how can we write it into the multiplication form? Six multiply two. In the last question, one is coming. How many times? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One is coming nine times. That means we can write it as nine multiply one. Students, solve the questions given on page number 85 of your mathematics books in the same way.